second graders, I'm Mrs. Vasquez Markley, and I'm the principal at Ross Elementary School. Today is a special day because you are receiving a brand new book to take home so that you can have a home library. You will be receiving a new book every month this year to take home, and someone like me will be here to read it to you. Once, you, once we're done reading, the first thing you want to do with your new book is open the front cover and write your name inside on the book plate. That way everyone will know the book belongs to you. Now, let's look at your new book. It's called, Dia Isa Wants a Car. If you don't speak Spanish, there are some words in this story that you might not understand. For example, Dia means aunt. So the title of the story means Aunt Isa wants a car. Dio means uncle. Listen for these and other Spanish words as I read the story. Dia Isa wants a car, written by Meg Medina and illustrated by Claudio Munoz. Dia Isa wants a car. She tells me after work when she still smells of lemon pies from the bakery. She is turning the jump rope that's tied to the fence, and I'm already up to 20. Un pisacorre, she says, to take to the beach. Really? The beach? I can't catch my breath. No one goes far from my block in the summer. But a beach has foamy water that reaches all the places I cannot go. See, si, really, let's save. Dia, Dia Isa wants a car. What color? I ask as we climb the steps to our apartment, past our neighbor's doors. From under the cracks, I hear the scrapes of forks and smell the boiled hot dogs on their tables. The same shiny green as the ocean that lapped outside my bedroom window, she says. When Tia Isa was a girl, the air on her island smelled of sweet palm fronds and mud. And pointy wings off the back, I say. When we go fast, we'll look like the gulls that swooped for your crab buckets. It's my favorite Dia story. Yes, she says, así. Dia Isa wants a car. But Dio Andres laughs when he hears his sister's plan. Don't be ridiculous, he says. You're not a rich queen. We walk to everything we need here, Isa. Now, what's for dinner? Dia Isa just whistles as she steps over Dio's work boots, muddy like ogre shoes, and stirs our black bean soup. Later that night, Dia Isa takes out the fat money envelope from, the, from her drawer in our room. Two piles, she says. I make a stack tall and straight. That's our helping money, which we will send back home, along with notes and pictures, so mommy can see how I've grown. What's left is for Dia Isa's car. Too little, I think. Not as tall as a pinch. But Dia Isa only crosses her arms. What did that bossy brother of mine say? She asks. He said, ridiculo. I repeat with Theo's hard R's like a cat purring. We'll see about that, she says. I love in the picture, Dia Isa's determined face. You can tell she's gonna make it happen. Dia Isa wants a car. Is it waiting for us inside the lot that smells of tar? We walk along, sucking on red popsicles and looking at the clouds reflected on the glassy hoods. How much, mister? How much? Dia Isa repeats in the few English words she knows. She shows him her envelope. Not enough, the man tells us again, shaking his head. We'll have the money soon, Dia Isa says as we wait for the bus. But soon is when our family is going to join us here. So I know soon can be a very long time. Dia Isa wants a car but we don't have enough. I tell Senor Leo, who is sweeping his fruit store. He stops to scratch his shiny head and has an idea. 
Help me stack those oranges nice and pretty, Nina, and I'll pay you. Tia Isa wants a car. I tell La Vieja Maria, who has windowsill cats but can't bend her creaky back to feed them. She looks over her dusty glasses and holds out her extra key. Come after school, mi vida, to give my kittens milk, I'll pay you. Tia Isa wants a car, I tell Miss Amy, who speaks no Spanish, but wants to invite Senor Perez over for ham sandwiches. How will you tell each other good stories? Teach me some Espanol, she begs, and I'll pay you. Tia Isa wants a car. But why does it take so long to save? Sometimes it's hard to wait for good things to happen, she says. Then she reads mommy's letter. Abuelo is feeling a little better. Mommy feeds him crab soup. Poppy plays him old songs on his guitar. So I wait and wait until one day my secret money sock has grown into a giant money sausage and can't wait anymore. I show Dia my surprise. The curly bills tumble into her bed. She leaves two pink lip marks on my forehead with her besito. They're so excited. Vamos, Dio, let's go. I tell her tiptoeing past Dio Andres, who is playing cards with the men from work. She chases after me all the way to the lot. Dia Isa wants a car, and I find it, hiding near a rusty fence, shiny green, wide as the porch as Dia Isa's old house. Already, I can feel the seashells between my toes. Ese mismo, she says, the very one. Bad radio, no air conditioning, warns the man. But Dia Isa is already touching the front seat big enough for three. She nods when I show her there's room in the back for more of us. Who'll come soon? You're right, mi hija, she says. This one will take us all where we need to go. We'll take it, I tell the man. Tia Isa turns on the car, whose motor cranks with a puff of genie smoke, and then it says, arroz, 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 arroz. First things first, she says. She pulls out the only thing left in her envelope, which is skinny now, from the empty balloon. It's a picture of our whole family, me, Tia Isa, and Tio Andres, but also my parents, grandparents and cousins, los padres, abuelos, and primos, who are still there thinking about us from that breezy house by the sea. I hold the picture steady while she tapes down the corners. Then Dia Isa leans into the hula hoop wheel and off we go. My ponytail flaps behind me like a rope cut loose. We zoom along Sanford Avenue past my school and other buildings, so squad and red. Pass a bus full of tired people squeezed close the way I hate with no room to spin around the bars inside. Tia Isa bought a car, I shout. Tia Isa steers us to the spot I point to. The rumbling car fits into the space just right. Our neighbors come out to see. Hurry up. Apurate, she says. I check for the frowning super and run to the patch of keep off grass. I whistle until Dio Andres finally comes out to look. Dia Isa bought a car, I call. Come down and see. He laughs in surprise at his ridiculous sister. You did it, he says, smiling to, the, to his back teeth. We did it, Dia Isa says, and there's room for us all. Dia Isa and I bought a car to carry us all to the sea. The end. Wasn't that a great book? 
Tia Isa and her niece worked hard to save money to buy a car. That certainly was big, beautiful, green car just like the ocean, and it is large enough to take everyone to the beach. I hope you enjoy reading this book on your own at home. Finally, we'd like to thank the donors who contributed to the Lancaster Education Foundation to buy these books for us. Enjoy reading, second graders, and have a great year.